In this video, I'm going to talk about um, a complete schoolboy error that I made myself. Now, this is a mistake which I'm sure an awful lot of people make, and it's not protecting your assets. Now, when I say assets, I mean, you know, those websites that you spent so long building out, monetizing, and getting to a stage where they were making you money passively. Now, you might not be at that point at this particular moment, but... Um, it's something you really should take a good look at now because sooner or later you will be at that point. And when this happens, then all of that work is completely wiped out. Now I'm going to show you, um, well, actually we're looking at the C panel. Now I don't tend to use HostGator uh, nowadays, but I did have, and I still have a lot of niche sites hosted there. Now I've got two HostGator accounts and this one got hit by a virus. Now, I'm going to show you this one here. So it's um, it's get rid of cold sores fast .com. Now this was a Clickbank site and it was making me um, probably um, at one point it was making me a couple of thousand dollars a month. Um, recently, I say recently, uh, last year it was making me, um, you know, probably about five or six hundred dollars every month. OK, because I hadn't put in any additional work in. It was just passive income, if you like. and I would kind of moved on. But. The point remains that it was making me money passively and I didn't do anything with it. And I didn't think I needed to do anything with it because this wasn't a WordPress site. But on this particular host, there were a number of WordPress sites hosted as well. So this was um HTML site. Now I'm going to show you this. Now you can see here that um, last month's traffic was uh, 1,478 hits. Not an awful lot, but as I say, you know, it was passive. And now you can see here that um, when I click on that domain, you can see that my site is suspended. So it's still getting that traffic, but it's no use whatsoever to me because my host was actually infected with a virus. Now this all happened through a site called How to Get Rid of Herpes Fast. Now I actually dumped all of the files from there to um, to stop the infection spreading, but it spread anyway. Now this particular site here was a WordPress site and it wasn't protected. I didn't have a plugin on there that protected the site from virus. So I didn't have any security on this particular site and unfortunately it got into the host and it infected all of my money sites. You can see here's uh, another one here, how to make your bum bigger. So if you know me that you'll know that I used to uh, work in an awful lot of unusual niches and you know I made a great deal of money from it but that isn't the point of this video. The point of this video is to tell you that you really do need to take the security of your sites seriously, even if not all of them are WordPress sites. So as I explained, not all of my sites on this particular host were WordPress, but the fact that some of them were allowed the virus into my host and it knocked out all of the sites which were hosted on this plan. Hi, I'm Matt Garrett, and thanks for taking the time to watch this short video. I'd like to give you a couple of examples of what can happen when your blog is hacked and the kind of attacks that are happening on a daily basis. The sheer number of attacks has increased massively over the last 18 months and is only going to continue getting worse. If you haven't been hacked yet, it really is simply a matter of time. In just one attack in March, over 160,000 sites were hacked and used to attack other sites. Now you may not think your site is valuable to hackers, but to a hacker, every site is a valuable resource for further attacks, spreading malware and information theft. It took one expert four minutes to hack the Obamacare site and get access to 70,000 people's records. Recently, even the Certified Ethical Hackers Council site got hacked, and these guys are the experts. It's so bad, they're now looking at legislation. The FTC is talking to Congress about having the power to fine people who let their sites get hacked. It's already starting to happen. In the UK, a site owner has been fined hundreds of thousands of pounds, even though they're a charity. Right now, according to Sophos Security, 73% of WordPress sites are vulnerable to attack. Does that include your site? And now I'm going to show you what hackers do and how you can test whether your site is vulnerable. 
The examples I'm going to use in this video are over 18 months old simply because this is the last time any of my sites got hacked. They are still targeted every day, but since I've been using Blog Defender, none of my sites have fallen foul of hackers. And let me show you why. Now this is actually an old site that I set up back in 2009 for my mother, uh, chrisgarrett.co.uk, and she's never actually used it, so there's uh, a sort of a, an introductory post on there, and that's it. So it's a very quiet blog, gets practically zero traffic, it's never been used for anything, and yet it still got hacked. It got targeted and are hacked, even though there are no backlinks pointing to it, only one post, etc. Now, when I first found out this was hacked, the only reason I found out was the host told me. Obviously, it's not a blog that I'm regularly keeping an eye on, so I found out through the web hosts themselves who suspended the account. Now, here I am in the cPanel AW stats for uh, the site itself, and we can see here chrisgarrett.co.uk, looking at September 2012. It was September that this happened in. Now, if I scroll up, you can see that generally this site gets very, very little traffic. Uh, 50 to 60 or 70 uniques a month so it's a very quiet blog as I say there's practically nothing on there and then in September all of a sudden the numbers went up massively and you can see here 7th 8th 9th of September suddenly they were doing 400 visits a day 700 visits a day 300 that would have probably been higher again except that's when the account got suspended and if I scroll down, you'll see the days targeted were Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which I suspect may be deliberate, uh, maybe an attempt to catch the Webmaster 8 because they're off for the weekend, not working. Okay, let's scroll down a bit further and have a look at what was actually going on. Okay, here's the important bit, the pages URLs. Here's the code that's been inserted into the blog, and this looks like PP update. In fact, if I scroll down here, I think there's one that actually says... PayPal on it uh, somewhere, can't find it now, I'm sure there's one here that says PayPal. Uh, basically what this looks like it's being used for is a landing page for a phishing trip to get people to put in their PayPal uh, email address and password to grab that, steal it and basically uh, hijack their PayPal account. Okay, so you can see how important this is. This site effectively now will have a bad reputation. I'm gonna have to put in requests with Google uh, and Yahoo and Bing to get it re-included in the index because it most likely will have been dropped. Um, in fact, if we went to one of these pages, you'll see what we get is this website has been reported as unsafe. Okay, so I've tried to go to one of those URLs and it's brought up this warning message. In fact, if that's what it looks like in Internet Explorer, uh, this is the version for Firefox. So you can see it's, it's really not a nice screen. Basically if, or more likely when, your blog gets hacked, you're going to face a whole bunch of nasty time-wasting problems. From simply working out what's been done and how to fix it, how to restore your data and get your site back up and running, to the fact that when visitors go to your site, they're gonna be faced with one of those nasty warning signs about a potential malicious site, which is gonna put them off going through to your site, and of course, the potential that you've been delisted from Google and you're no longer getting any traffic from Google whatsoever. And of course, there's that rather unpleasant possibility of getting an email or even a call from your local authorities asking you why your blog is helping criminals defraud people. So by now you can see how important it is to secure your blog today. And yes, Blog Defender will help you do exactly that. So let's take a quick look at how you can check just how secure your blog is right now. To check things for yourself, you can go to a site like Hacker Target and under the online scanners choose WordPress Scanner and you'll come up with this page where you can pop in your own domain URL to get an idea of how secure your site is and what information your site is broadcasting that can be used by a hacker to attack you. This example is a basic WordPress setup and you can see hackers have a bunch of ways in already. They can see which version of WordPress it is, they can see which theme the site is using, as well as the admin username for their brute force attack, 
and they can also get access to the uploads and plugins folder so they can see what's installed and find potential vulnerabilities to exploit on your site. Why would you let hackers have all this information for free? Here's another example and this site has been locked down using Blog Defender and as you can see we've hidden a whole bunch of that information from them. They can't see the WordPress version, they can't see the theme we're using, they can't see the usernames and they can't see the uploads or plugins folder. Now that's a big improvement. Blog Defender will also allow you to secure and protect your sites from spammers, hackers, botnets, bad bots, data miners and all sorts of other nasty scrotes who basically want to ruin your business for their benefit. We designed Blog Defender to keep your sites, your business, safe and secure 24-7. And if you deal with local businesses, small businesses, offline businesses, you can use the Blog Defender security plugins to secure your clients' sites and charge for that as a service. So grab Blog Defender today and get your sites locked down and secure before it's too late. Okay, so blog WordPress security may be the last thing on your mind right now. I understand completely, um, you know, it's not sexy, you're not going to make a ton of money out of it. But if you do have a passive income right now from your websites, then I would highly recommend that you take a look at security if you don't already have it. Now, you may not already have um, a business set up, you may not already have passive income running into your business, but there's a very good chance that you will very, very soon because after all, you're looking at business online. So even if you don't have a business right now that's making you money online, you will need to consider security for when you actually start making money online. So of course, there are numerous different plugins and softwares that can protect your sites. But if you do decide to grab Blog Defender, then you'll also get the following bonuses from me. So there are seven bonuses in total. The first one is Affiliate Cash Mastery. The second is Facebook Ad Secrets. The third, Secret Instant Traffic. And here's one that's uh, very close to my heart. It's uh, bonus number four is Embarrassing Niche Profits. And bonus number five, Solo Ad Secrets. And bonus six, Traffic Exchange Mastery. Now, all of these also come with private label rights. And what that means is you can edit these, you can turn these into your very own product, you can add your name to them, and you can start selling them as your own. So if you don't have a business right now, then simply by purchasing Blog Defender through me, you're going to get all these and you can start selling them as your own products. And the last one here, which doesn't come with private label rights is bonus number seven, which is a quick start internet marketing video set. Now, if you are just starting out, this is going to be an invaluable resource because it will teach you A to Z, the terminology, everything you need to do online in order to get your business up and running. So once again, thanks for watching this video. If you are interested in grabbing Blog Defender 2016, click the link right under this video.